Whoa. This is going to be very controversial. Some Nintendo fans might be upset. Yes, right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How? are y'all doing before we get started with the video give it a like like let's get it to 400 thumbs ups broski all right we have some dope news items for this video but the first one this is big all this time i've been saying nintendo's coming out with a switch pro but they're gonna be like the what uh, the PS4 and PS4 Pro was play the same exact games but at higher frame rates and better resolution. That will be it for the most part. But now it looks like that may not necessarily be the case. Coming from Reset Era, Industry Insider Nate Drake, he is reporting that there's going to be some third-party games on the Switch Pro that will not run on our base model Nintendo Switch consoles. This is the exact quote coming from GamingIntel.com. There will be some select exclusives, especially from third-party partners and may not be a big number of them but i know of at least one bro i have to say this makes sense but at the same time some dudes might be upset but here's the thing you've gotten five years the switch has been on the market for five years and um it's a, the switch has missed out on key big third-party games that I thought would have been a no-brain on the Switch. Games like Final Fantasy VII, I thought would be just on the Switch. Games like Cyberpunk? Anybody? No Switch owners want Cyberpunk? Technically, based on how it ran on the base model um, PS4 and Xbox One, technically could have ran on the Switch too. But, big AAA games like Cyberpunk may be on the Switch Pro and not the base model switch i have to say it sort of makes sense i also think though that with the whole cloud streaming that games that can't run natively on the switch just have it run through the cloud games like hitman 3 punching way above the switch's power grade but through the power of the cloud it was able to run i think Nintendo's going to do like PlayStation 5 and Xbox does. Leave it up to third-party developers. Where Breath of the Wild 2, definitely coming on all Switch models. The next Mario game, Mario Kart 9, those tried and true Nintendo games, I think, will be on every Switch uh, model. But third-party developers who may be like, you know what? It's not worth the time and effort to try to scale it back or we're not trying to do it through the cloud. It looks like the Switch Pro may be it. And so it looks like the Switch Pro will be for uh, more hardcore gamers who just want every AAA game. They want the one console to play everything. Sign me up. Sign me up. I'm getting a Switch Pro day one. It makes sense. I know there's some dudes that are going to be upset. That they, they're sort of going to be forced to upgrade if they want to play some of these big AAA games. But, you'll be forced to get a PS5 or Xbox Series X anyway, bro. And so Nintendo's like, if you're going to upgrade to play third-party games, might as well upgrade for on our platform. Bro, this speaks to a larger controversy. Many of the complaints 
of the Xbox Series X is they're trying too hard to not leave behind Xbox One users. What do I mean? Games like Halo Infinite will be playable on the OG Xbox, meaning they're making a game that's going to be scalable for a 12 teraflop console and a 1 teraflop console. That's a broad range, a lot of development time and effort. And some fans are saying who just bought their shiny new Xbox Series X, bro, cut loose the past and just make your games for this platform so the games could be better optimized and run better for the new hardware. So interesting to see the approach Nintendo's going to take, but this um, leak slash rumor gives us a hint on what is going to be possible for the Switch Pro. All right, bro, next news item. What if I told you Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is in the works? Take this with a grain of salt. This is coming from comicbook.com. Um, composer of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Yasunori, Yasunori Mitsuda, he recently stated that he's preparing for, and I quote, a large scale recording um, that is planning to take place in April. And he said that this project is larger than anything he's worked on in recent past. This pointed many fans to obviously point to as Xenoblade Chronicles 3, since Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is one of his more larger, large-scale projects. And so stay tuned. I will be here for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Hey, I beat Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Wii U, bro. Not a lot of dudes beat that. I didn't finish Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on the switch this is one of those games i might go back and play on my switch pro the resolution man i mean i'm not a big fan of i mean frame rates trump everything so resolution is always second but this game was running sub hd on my 4k tv bro it was running at like 540p i was like man and i just got sidetracked playing something else hey speaking of xenoblade pyra is the smash fighter no one wanted but everyone loves bro she is so good in smash bro um i like the changing between her and mithra photon edge is op bro but xenoblade chronicles 3 i might be on smash on my gaming channel with the sponsor speaking of smash you know what i'm saying i'm gonna try some king k rule sometime this morning i might but xenoblade chronicles 3 might be might be in the works Talking about Switch Pro exclusives. What if this game comes exclusive to the Switch Pro? <laughs> Dudes will be up, up, set. All right. Um, bro, I thought this next news item was pretty interesting. The Switch Pro may not be the only powerful handheld coming out in 2021. According to PCGamer.com, the handheld AMD Ryzen gaming PC from Aya will go on sale later today. Today, today. If those of you want to know what it looks like, this is it right here. Hmm, I wonder what handheld this is copied. And so AMD's handheld console does go on sale today. We'll be playing PC quality games on the go. This lets me know the Switch Pro is possible. Can't wait to see what Nintendo's cooking up with that Pro, bro. Also, dope, dope, dope news. I got to share this with dudes who are still looking for storage for their Switch. Sandix 256 gigabyte extreme micro SD card now on Amazon at the low price of 38 bucks, bro. So 256 gigabytes, go and check it out. I have a one terabyte in that red Mario Switch. I don't have to change out anything, bro. Don't have to delete any games, bro. We good. All right, dude, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date all 
things. Nin, ten, do, we out, deuces. Thank you.